<laughs> What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. Hope y'all having a great day today. I'm so weird. <laughs> I cry about the weirdest things. But yeah, so we're back. And today I'm back with you with another really cool apartment. Um, it's actually becoming my favorite color now. Uh, not my favorite color, but one of my favorite colors is yellow. Even like, I, I, fun fact, I didn't like yellow. First of all, let's, let's restart this. What's good, everyone? What is good? Welcome back to the channel with yours truly, of course, Machiavelli. And today we're back with another speed build. Today's speed build, we are going to go ahead and make an apartment. And today's apartment, um, it's going to be like, I don't know. I want to be college based because sorry I saw a bicycle in the <laughs> I saw a bicycle I'm like oh my god bicycle you know college university people they ride bicycles it's a college apartment whoop so yeah that's, that's what I'm gonna call it um but yeah it's also made with like one of my favorite colors now yellow I'm actually in love with yellow surprisingly never thought that day would come I actually didn't like yellow when I first um not when I first were playing Sims no I just didn't like yellow in general I thought it was like look like piss excuse my language but. That's what, every time, every time I saw yellow, I just thought of pee. So I never really liked it, but I've been loving it lately. I've been using it in mostly all of my builds as accent colors. Um, it's been great. I don't know if you, sorry, if, I don't know if you guys can hear, uh, I apologize way too much. It's the Canadian me. But uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me, like, I feel like it sounds like I've been crying for like five minutes. Well, thing is, okay, <laughs> how do I explain this? I was crying, but like, it wasn't like anything. It was sad, but... See, this is where I think I should become an actor because I'm very good. Well, I guess not an actor, but I don't know. I just feel like if there's anything to do with crying or like if someone told you to make yourself cry, go for it. You can play any song and I'll think of, I guess my imagination just runs wild. I have a very vivid imagination. So I was, don't even, I don't, don't judge me if you want to, but I don't even listen to that girl as much. But I listening to Beyonce's um, <laughs> best thing I never had. <laughs> Yeah, and you're like, what? You cried? Yes. So I was listening to that, right? And so, um, I, I told you guys this story many times before, but there's this girl, okay, honestly, okay, uh, no, this, this is, all, this, now you guys are just running wild now. Okay, let me restart this all over again from what I was talking about. So, um, <laughs> if you hear the grogginess in my voice, or if you think, if it sounds like I'm stuffy a little bit, and that I've been crying, it's because I was crying. And the reason I was crying, and the reason I said that was because I was listening to a song, called um it's by beyonce it's called best things i never had did the song make me cry kind of it was it was the meaning behind it right and so how it started was because was, first i was listening to the song because i had like my i have like you know on youtube you have playlists so playlist was coming on and this was the next song i'm not the biggest fan of beyonce being oh my god kill me i know but um i'm not and so I, I was, it was like I said, I never purposely played it. It just came in the playlist, right? And so I listened to it. I actually, like the, I like the, I love the song of it. It's actually a really good song. I love the meaning behind it. And so I was listening to it, and I, I read, the, I read the meaning, but I understood the meaning. And so I, I was I'm not in a relationship, but no, um, there was a girl like I liked before, and um, I didn't end up getting with her. And she turned out to be a, not a bad person, but she was messy. And so I was like, thank God that I didn't. I didn't. So I always, always, whenever I think of it, I'm like, thank God I didn't do that. And so when I, so I, was, when I was listening to the song, that memory played back. No, that did not make me cry. But anyways, leading up to the story on how I did cry, um, if you guys even care. Um, so that memory made me, that made me, just, it just made me remember that fact, right? And so I was like, I wonder if there was anyone out there, anyone else in the world, that went through like hard situations you know like that like worse than me because my thing was pretty light because i wasn't actually dating the girl i just liked her um so i was wondering about that and so since i was wondering about that i started imaging i started imagining other people so i started imagining this one person this imaginary person i'm gonna call her linda honestly she she makes no she, she's not real <laughs> i just imagined her up in my head or this or her scenario and so pretty much her like like her husband was cheating on her and then her husband made it look her husband made it feel like it was her fault that um she got like it was first her husband made it feel like it was her fault that he cheated so pretty much blamed his cheating on her and everything and then she kind of i don't know i guess she fell into herself and then she kind of like begged him to stay and he said no and he left her for the um he left her and her two kids um for uh, <laughs> no right i have a, like i said i have a really vivid imagination so anyways he left his um he left his um two kids and her for his side chick and so now me playing the song in my head now i'm just imagining i don't know it just popped up that she you know went to x factor and you know on x factor there's like there's always a sad story like oh my god you know um, i don't say that because that's actually really sad but um you know people are like talking about how you know 
they're homeless, or you know, they're dying. I know, I'm just saying, there's, there's always a sob story, right? And so I was, just, I was imagining this woman, you know, maybe she always wanted to sing, but then her husband kept on telling her she couldn't sing and that she wasn't worth it and all that other stuff. And so she's like, you know, she took the chance and she went on there and she said, you know what, I'm dedicated, even if I don't make it, you know, she's like, so, so judges, Simon's like, so, hey, 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 I, I, I don't know how Simon would talk, be like, what's good? No, no, what's good? Like, hello, miss. I don't know, sorry, that's a terrible British accent, but just say hello, and she'd be talking, they'd be like, so, sing the song, what song are you singing? She's like, I'm singing, um, Best Things I Never Had by Beyonce. I want to make this out to my, uh, my, my, um, uh, my ex-boyfriend my ex-husband or whatever she was saying and her like i said i have a really vivid imagination and i guess i came with this whole story while i was singing this while well, not singing the song while i was making this build and so pretty much she starts singing and then she just starts singing and then you know she gets emotional and then she starts like remembering all the times you know she tried to beg him and how she thought he could do no wrong and now she's seeing all the signs and now like it's just it's, it's like this song is making her a better person making her more stronger and then at, like like in the in the middle part where you know Beyonce goes I just don't want you so bad like that part um she like breaks down a little bit starts to cry and then like her kids are crying and I'm like oh my god it's so sad and then I start tearing up and I'm like bruh I'm crying over an imaginary scenario but yeah that's pretty much the whole story and then she ends up singing and then she gets the golden buzzer and I haven't made it past that so I have no clue if she makes it like past round two you have to wait for my imagination to kick in again but um yeah I'm telling you I have a, such a weird imagination that's why I said not say I should be actor but I should like make up scripts that's why I love like playing with the sims because I get to use my vivid imagination at least it gets to use somehow and so yeah I'm telling you it's, it's weird the things like the with the scenarios that, that, that popped out of nowhere I just I can like, listen to a song and then a scenario and my mind will pop up and then a whole storyline will go with it so yeah that's why i was crying a little bit because like she got her voice out and then like she, like her kids like the, the, the thing was it wasn't even the house she was sad that got me crying it was that when my imagination zoomed to the kids the kids are crying i'm like oh my god the kids are crying so then i started crying y'all i'm weird okay i'm extremely weird <laughs> it was a weird experience because literally like I was, I was in a trance right there and then i was like oh shit my build's done and then i'm like wait am i actually crying i'm like yeah i have tears in my eyes and everything like tears in my cheeks i was sobbing i was like i'm sobbing over an imaginational whatever it's yeah judge me i don't know i'm i'm really 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 weird or messed up in the head i don't even know <laughs> but yeah I thought I'd share that with you because I thought that was really, really weird. I wonder if anyone, does that ever happen to you guys where like, you're just sitting there or you're bored or something and you just come up with this like imaginary story and you make it really sad and then you just start feeling sad too, then you start crying because the story was really sad even though it's not a real story. Yeah, one of those. But anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy the build though. I hope that makes you happy. Um, but again, I, I, I don't like, why am I telling you guys this? I don't know. I have no one else to tell you. I have no one else to tell, so I'll tell you guys. But I hope you guys are doing great. I haven't been building for the last like two days. That's fine. I took a little break. Um, but I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing Gucci. Um, I'm super, super excited for um, the the what's it called again the new expansion pack this comes out um i do have a few things i want to discuss about it in this part so if you guys are excited let's get in straight into it so you know so discover university so i found out um through one of my favorite one of my favorite simmers i can't remember her name at the moment um but um i found out through her twitter that um the university classes are going to be rabbit holes if i'm not mistaken which i'm on the wall with like to be completely honest with you like i don't really care that much because and like you know honestly yeah it would be cool because i know for a fact when the one thing that see i care but i didn't i don't care because at one point um i care for the fact that my sins will like because for example in since three university and since three university after classes were done all the kids like meet up at front of the building and then they like socialize you know so that so i feel like that's gonna be taken away from what's given in the sims 4 which is sad because i used to love that part like walking my sims to class and then watching them walk into the building and then having them do their ish and then coming back out then we like talk and make friends with all the students there but i feel like we're not gonna get that 
which is whatever i think we're just gonna like i think it's, what we're gonna all get is like pretty much like a dorm building and then they'll just walk up the dorm into like you know imaginary street and just poof and go away to class and then come back like they, they do with like school which sucks because again like i said before i wanted the interaction but that's whatever um rabbit hole wise i do i will be sad to see um also like the in-class stuff like i did quite like taking my kids my my kids know my sims to class like i still remember the amount of times i just had them sleep during class and nothing really happened um but there wasn't like there wasn't like the thing is what that is that there wasn't really that much interactions to do with the sims 3 all you can do is like i think sleep in class raise hands or whatever so and ask questions i think that was pretty much all the three things you could do in the sims 3 university so again it's just it's not i'm not really losing that much i just i just said about the you know the interaction wise but then we're also getting dorms back so it's just cool i one thing i didn't i know it's weird but I, what i didn't like about the sims 3 um university was the dorms i didn't like the dorms at all i rather them sleep like live in a house i don't know the sims 3 dorms i guess i didn't rant about this before but i just didn't like how they were laid out i feel like it was just like i guess i guess because there was actually no dorms it was actually just a sorority i guess it was like it, it feels like it felt like more of a shor a sorority house than a dorm if that made any sense it feels like you're just sharing rooms with the people in a sorority so i didn't really like the dormitories in the sims 3 so hopefully they improve that in the sims 4 and it feels more like a dorm style that's what i'm hoping for anyways um anything else um what i did like through the trailer was that there's loans thank god um I'm super, super, super excited about loans. I think loans are a big aspect that I'm thankfully to God they're back into the game. I'm I'm really happy about that. Um, because, I don't know. I just I just I just like the thought of my Sims going in debt. Say what you want, but like my Sims. Okay, that's a lie. My Sims be broke right now. My Sims right now is broke, especially life of the Pearsons. <laughs> they can hardly afford to keep the bills on. <laughs> it's it's pretty expensive. So um, adding debt would like. <laughs> it makes it more realistic i guess so i love that we can we're gonna be able to put our sims into debt because they deserve some debt in their life too like life's hard they should feel it they should feel it too you know and in and, and all a you know a bunch of um sweets what am i saying i don't even know but uh da, 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 da. okay sorry i'm editing something at the same time i'm doing this so bear with me hold up what are we doing on time Okay, I gotta end up this thing here anyways. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Thank you guys so much, so much, so much, so much, so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I'll see you guys again on Saturday. Saturday? What? No, I'll see you guys again on Friday. Bye, guys. About This is Beast Fight. Later, guys. And also, also, comment below, what did you like in the trailer that you saw that really excited you and what you didn't like? I actually want to know down below. So what excited me was the loans. I think that excited me a lot. And what, like, didn't excite me was um was uh what's called again the fact that i didn't see any like i said before of them going anywhere like it was really was just her just like teleporting different places it was more like her walking to like a coffee shop or just just seeing the activity it was just her teleporting to different spots so i i wish there was like some interaction of how the world would actually be laid out and looked but i guess we'll have to wait until that comes out but anyways that's just my opinion let me know down below what's yours is and i'll see you on the next one bye guys i'm out just peace later guys oh no i think i've lost my mind